You're listening to The Jackie Price Show on WWKB AM 1520. A new voice, a new choice. Buffalo. Welcome back. You're listening to AM 1520, A New Voice, A New Choice, and I'm Jackie. Good morning, Ron. Welcome to the Jackie Price Show. Hi, Jackie. It's a pleasure to be on your radio show. Well, I want to thank you very much for coming on the show this morning to discuss your new book, The 15 Secrets of Millionaires, and congratulations with the success of your book. I understand um, there are 200 websites and bookstores selling your book all over the United States and across the world. Yes, that's, that's right. Uh, I have um, a printer and also a distributor that, that has put it out there, and so I have a, a really good distribution. Uh, the main thing I want to do now is, is get the word out and let, let people know that it's available for sale. So what inspired you to write The 15 Secrets of Millionaires? Well, I, I like to read self-help and motivational books, and, and I had, I've always admired authors. There's one question that I've always wanted answered, which is in the introduction of my book, why do few people achieve wealth, success in their dreams, while the majority struggle financially and fail to accomplish more? My book answers that question. Okay, so we're going to dive into those questions a little later. Um, where can people actually purchase the book? Well, it's available at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, the Book Depository, and over 250 websites and booksellers across America and in 10 other countries. Mm-hmm, very nice. Now, um, let me tell my listeners a little bit about you before I ask this first question. You've been a real estate agent for over 15 years, but not just an ordinary realtor. You reached the top 3% of over 58,000 prudential real estate agents. You're a multi-million dollar month club producer, and you've received over 40 top lister, top producer, and super producer awards, and the list goes on. What were the turning points of your career, and how did you take your sales income to this high level? Well, that's a good question. The, the turning point came for me about 18 years ago when I sold the family business in L.A., where I was making uh, only about $20,000 a year. Mm-hmm. I got my real estate license and decided to move to San Diego. It took me six years to reach the, the top 3% of 58,000 prudential real estate agents nationwide. And um, I, you know, I learned from other agents. Uh, what to do, and uh, through my through just uh, trial and error, uh, I found what worked, and and, I, and that's what worked for me. Mm-hmm. And I, I like that you say it took six years. A lot of people think that on their way to success, it happens overnight, but it does not hope happen overnight, does it? Not at all. It 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 does take a while to get get going and get the experience. And so, yeah, you need to be patient and not expect to get results right away. Mm-hmm. And um, work through the challenges. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. What motivates you, Ron? Well, Jackie, the things that that drive and motivate me are setting ambitious goals and dreams and doing whatever it takes to reach them, and also inspiring and encouraging other people. Now, in part one of your book, you discuss the law of wealth. What exactly is the law of wealth? Well, the law of wealth states you'll be compensated financially in direct proportion to the value you create and deliver to other people, your position in a business or profession, and get paid based on your measurable performance and results. The more people that you can serve and deliver value to, the more money and wealth you will make. Hmm, interesting. So why do some people live a life of wealth and abundance while most struggle financially? Well, the, the vast majority don't have the knowledge and information to improve their life. Getting this knowledge is is the key to achieving wealth and abundance. And so uh, you seeing like, um, um, well, people have to want it, and they have to want to study and um, improve their lives, right? Yeah, they, they really do have to want it because some people uh, are, have, you know, are in apathy or they, they don't really have that, that motivation to, to do th- something, and you really need that if you want to uh, improve your life. Um, it's the only way. Mm-hmm. Or they don't believe they can do it. That's, that's one of the big ones, you know, not believing. You have to believe in yourself and in your ideas and your dreams. Mm-hmm. Um, so through your research, what are some of the ways that millionaires set themselves up for success? Well, they, they think, believe, and act completely different than most people. And so based on that, they, they're, they're able to achieve a lot more than, than the average person. Mm-hmm. Can you um, give us maybe an example or two of, of what you just said? Or Okay. 
Well, see, the, they, they, um, the way they think and believe is just it's at, at, totally at a different level than, than most than, than the average person. Mm-hmm. So by, by the way they think and believe and act, they, they just are able to, to take their life and business uh, to uh, you know a place where it's where you have success, and that most people are just uh, complacent in where they are, and that's why they they don't really go very far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all about a, a mindset. It really is. If you um, if you want it and you want to go after it, because like some people are complacent and you know their laziness sets in. So yeah, definitely. So, um, how do millionaires balance work and family? Well, some work longer and harder than they should, and others find the time for their family and leisure time. Mm-hmm. So it's a matter of finding that balance. And um, because if you don't, if you're just only working, then you know you're, you're missing out on on the important things in life. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, it's almost time for us to take our break, but I think I, I can get another question is in here. Okay. Um, does a person have to be a genius in order to be a millionaire? Certainly not, Jackie. Most of the wealthy individuals and extraordinary achievers I profiled in my book started with little or no formal education, experience, or money. Some became geniuses by their accomplishments. Mm-hmm. I know there's some people who started their high school dropouts or college dropouts and have become very successful. So yes, mm-hmm. definitely. Okay. Yeah, and, and you know, I think that you know things that we were taught in school and and by our parents and others that that you have to have um, you know uh, the experience. You know, you you really don't. I mean, you you could start off with little or no money, experience or or formal education, and and achieve great things. Uh, you know, we have to understand that. I mean, now you can see it, and with so many people that have done it mm-hmm. without that, um, you know, so you could see that you can do it if mm-hmm. you want it. Yeah, that's that's the key. You got to want it, and um, you, you got to want to go after it. I think too many people they they wait for things to fall in their laps, but you got to kind of go out and make it happen, right? Oh, definitely. You you do. You have to want it, and you have to know what you want, so that you can uh, set the goals and and then um, go after it. Mm-hmm. Okay, it is time for us to take our break, so more talk with Ron Moses when we return. Welcome back. You're listening to AM 1520, a new voice, a new choice, and I'm Jackie. Ron Moses is on the show this morning, and we're discussing his new book, The 15 Secrets of Millionaires, and the phone lines are open. 803-1520. The area code is 716. If you have questions or comments for Ron, give us a call. Okay, Ron, um, I want to ask, are there qualities, um, characteristics, and traits wealthy people share in common that the vast majority don't have or don't ever develop? Yes, there definitely are. The the 15 Seekers are are the principles, traits, and characters that are shared by wealthy people. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, why don't you give us a, a few? Now, I, I, I will often wonder, too, because I'm an early riser, and, you know, there, I have goals and dreams for my life, and I get up early each morning um, to get my day started. It's like I have more hours in a day, but I know some people, you know, they get up like um, 11 and 12 noon, and I, I just couldn't do that because I would feel half my day is shot. So, um like, is that a quality um, that maybe um, more successful people have than, than less successful people? I mean, I'm, I'm wondering. Yeah, definitely. If, um, if you have goals and dreams that you want to achieve uh, and you're excited about them and passionate about them, you're going to get up early in the morning and, and you can't wait to get started with it. Mm-hmm. So most people, unfortunately, they, they really don't enjoy their jobs or what they do, so they don't have that passion. And without that... You, you really, you know, you don't have that motivation to, to get up and do what you have to do. Mm-hmm. And another thing, too, um, people, it's like if you're um, in a position, a uh, career that you don't like, um, they have the power to change it. And I guess that's where that mindset comes in. Uh, some people um, feel that they have to remain in a position that they're unhappy in. Yeah, definitely. It's... it's um, one of the main qualities that, that millionaires have compared to average people is mindset. It's, um, they, they really they, they, they think in a way that, that, that really propels them to where they want to go. 
And uh, it's all about mindset. Mm -hmm. Now, also in your book, you discuss fundamental principles, methods, and strategies that rich people have used to achieve prosperity and their incredible dreams. Now, without giving too much of your book away, because I know, of course, you want people to purchase the book and read the book. Um, share some of the, the methods and the strategies. You know, maybe we can, um, you know, help someone today. <laughs> I, I want sure. to in, encourage some of my listeners. I always love to encourage my listeners to better their lives. Okay, great. Well, I'll be glad to. Mm -hmm. The first secret in my book is dreams. Rich and successful people have incredible dreams. The second secret is, is ambition. These wealthy people have enormous ambition and set the, the bar very high for themselves. Mm -hmm. Another secret is persistence. Of all the 15 secrets, persistence is at the top of the list of why people succeed when others fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a witness to that. You know, a lot of people don't believe believe this, but, um, well, they'll believe this. At one time, um, being a flight attendant um, was a dream of mine. And um, I was as a little girl, my parents used to take me out to the Buffalo airport. Um, there was like a, a hot dog or hamburger stand or something across from the airport. So we get our food and drinks out there and watch the planes take off and land. And I really think that's what kind of, you know, started that um, desire in me. But it took me nine years to become a flight attendant. Over the years, I started when I was 19 years old applying to the airlines and it's like I would, over the years, I would have interviews and they'd fly me to different cities and I never got it. And, um, but I was 28 years old when I was hired at a um, major airline. Um, but it took me all that time. I was persistent. And even to get on the radio after I finished school, so many doors were closed in my face and people were so nasty. And, but I'm, I'm finally on the air and, it does. It takes persistence. You know, uh, Jackie, uh, Brian Tracy, he's a um, best-selling author. He says that, that the um, average time that people will, will take to, you know, before they give up is basically one time. They'll try something once, and they'll give up. Mm -hmm. And that's, persistence is one of the main uh, secrets of why people achieve success. They just, they stick at it. They, go, they keep going until they, they reach what they want. Mm -hmm. You can't hear the no's. Exactly. You, you, you have to, you know, it's, an, it's a numbers game. So whatever you want to do, you have to know that it's a numbers game. And if you talk to enough people uh, and if you keep trying, you're going to you're gonna get the, the results you want. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. I remember when I was first in radio sales when I lived in Virginia. I was working at this radio station. And, I mean, it took me forever. Ever to get sales, but I didn't give up. But finally it happened, you know. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, you're right. It, it is a numbers game. Yeah. Um, how important is it to give of your wealth and to help others? Well, the, the more you give to others, the more you attract for yourself. It's a basic financial rule. You, you really you need to give to others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's just like another law in the universe, too. Um, you know, you, you get what you give. So, Yeah. What is the best weapon that people can use to defeat um, mediocrity? Well, in one word, knowledge. Only by understanding and applying pertinent knowledge and data can you get out of mediocrity. Another weapon to defeat mediocrity is to get rid of laziness and to have a good work ethic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this sounds like it's just, um, you know, anybody can do it. Um, oh, excuse me, Ron. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing some static, Jim. Do you, is everything sounding okay? Okay, now I hear it's okay now. Okay, I was talking to my <laughs> my producer. I do that from time to time when I'm you know having some difficulty hearing and stuff. So please excuse okay. me. But um, I think anybody can achieve um, levels of success. But you have to apply yourself. You want to have to want it, and y you got to do it. To, that that's what it seems. What it is. It's not going to fall in your lap. Nobody's going to give it to you. You have to get out and. Um, I guess achieve. I mean, of course, people will eventually maybe will help you. I mean, you, nobody achieves success alone, um, but you got to, you know, make the first step, huh? Yeah, some people, I, I believe, are born with with a a drive and a motivation to to do things, big things in life, and other people have to develop that. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if if you're born with it, if it's an innate quality in you, it's it's a little easier for you. 
even if you don't have it, but but you, I believe you can develop it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, some of these um, questions may sound redundant, but um, I know there are barriers that stand in the way of um, people achieving affluence and uh, achievement um, for some people. How can they break those barriers? I guess, like you said, just um, um, let believe in themselves and, you know, um, you have to overcome the challenges, right? Yeah, so the barriers standing in the way for most people are overcoming the 10 dream destroyers, which I, I talk about in my book. And one of the 10 being apathy and indifference. Mm-hmm. For those who have that, they, it's really hard to, for them to, to do anything because they don't really want it. I and mean, you really have to want it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was one of my questions to talk to you about um, the 10 dream stories that you do introduce to your readers. So you, you gave one. Um, give us a couple more, please. Sure. Um, the, um, there's, there's, I'll give you three. There's, Thank you. Uh, there's doubt, mm-hmm. uh, and another one is worry, and another one is fear. Okay. And, and doubt it really stops people because they don't really believe that they can achieve it. Mm-hmm. And if you don't believe in it, then you, you won't try. And fear really stops people from starting their own businesses or, or achieving their dreams because it, they, they're afraid that to fail. They're afraid to, to try. And if you're afraid to do that, then you're not going to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. And worry, 98% of the things that people worry about don't happen. So you really have to triumph over these tending destroyers if you want to succeed. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I explain that in the book. And, um, you know... Um I guess another thing, too, that goes with that um, negativity of people around you, because everybody does not want to see you succeed. You know, there's a lot of phonies. They smile up in your face. and um, But when it really comes down to it, people sometimes get like, um, what can I say, some kind of like happiness when you do fail, you know, or everybody doesn't want to see you succeed. You know what it is? It's kind of like if – you know, this is people that they, they don't want to be like left behind. They don't want, you know, if if you're um, if you have a friend or somebody, uh, they don't want to really see you surpass them. So they kind of whether it be consciously or unconsciously, they don't they don't encourage you because they they don't want to be left behind. Mm-hmm. And what they don't realize is they could be pursuing their own dreams and becoming successful in time. So yeah, definitely. Oh boy, time goes by so fast. It's time for our final break. So more talk with Ron Moses when we return. Ron Moses is with us this morning and we're discussing his new book, The 15 Secrets of Millionaires. And the phone lines are open. 803-1520. 716 is the area code. Ron, tell our listeners where they can get your book again. Sure. Uh, Amazon.com, which is uh, one of the biggest um, online uh, retailers for books, uh, BarnesandNoble.com, the biggest bookstore in, in the country, and the Book Depository. And uh, they actually, they can go to my website at www.the15secrets.com, and right there they can uh, find, um, I have them right there, I have Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and the places they can buy it real easily. Mm-hmm. Now, in the 15 Secrets of Millionaires, you show people how to reinvent themselves and think in a whole new way. Now, personally, I'm a firm believer in change your thinking, change your life, elevate your thinking, elevate your life. How can people, <clears throat> excuse me, how can people change their thinking from a negative mindset to a positive one? You know, Jackie, unfortunately, most people are programmed condition and even brainwashed to think, believe, and act in small ways. Mm-hmm. They're taught to set, quote, realistic goals and that they shouldn't strive for bigger things. Mm-hmm. That's so true. You really have to um, you know, basically recondition uh, or reprogram your mindset for, for wealth, success, and abundance. Mm-hmm. And that obviously comes through reading and, um, I guess, listening to um, what self-improvement tapes and, um, I guess, things of that sort, right? Yeah, you know, a lot of people, they think that once they get out of school, once they get a degree or what have you, that, that their learning stops. That That's not true. Mm-hmm. Your learning has to continue because we're in a, in a world that changes very rapidly. And if you don't, uh, you know, adapt to those changes, you'll be left behind. So you really kind of constantly be learning and getting knowledge. And then the best way is through books and, and motivational tapes and other things like that because it's, it really gives you what you need to stay current with what's happening. Mm-hmm. That's true. And plus, that makes you interesting to other people. So 
Um, in yeah, your... I've, I've read hundreds of books, mm-hmm. and I, I, I always, I always constantly want because you know if you can pick up one or two ideas from a book and apply it, you can really get a lot from it. Mm-hmm. That's true. Now, in your book, you educate people about the differences between leverage income and linear, well, versus linear income and assets versus liabilities. Um, what are those differences? Sure. Uh, leverage income is income that keeps coming in and in over and over again after the initial effort. Linear income is trading your time and work for money, which w- w- what most people do. With linear income, when you stop working, the money stops. Mm-hmm. With leverage income, through a business or product or service, the money keeps coming into you. And so the key is to leverage and duplicate yourself uh, because if you're only trading your time and work for money, you'll always be limited to what you can make. Right. Okay. And then assets, uh, it, it, the basic thing of assets and li- versus liabilities, assets make you money and liabilities cost you money. So you want to focus on, on assets, things that make you money, um, business products, um, real estate, Different things like that where Mm -hmm. they'll generate money and income for you. Mm -hmm. I guess and having different streams of income would help too, right? Yeah, you know, that's one thing that uh, I think a lot of people found out in in the financial crisis that most people just have one source of income Mm -hmm. and millionaires have multiple sources of income. So if one dries up or slows down, they still have money coming in. And but if you only have one source of income from from a job, Mm -hmm. when that stops, if you get laid off or fired then the money stops. So you really mm-hmm. have to focus on having different investments and different things, that, uh, different assets that will bring you money in so that you don't have that problem. Mm-hmm. That's so true. A lot of people are one step away from homelessness if they lose their job. So that's true. Yeah, exactly. Um, is it true that being around influential, influ- I can't even, influ- <laughs> I can't even say the word, people of influence. <laughs> yeah. Is it true uh, that being around people of influence um, can affect your success? Yes, um, it, it, it has been said that if you you are as successful as the five closest people that surround you, so it's um, it's a saying you can't soar like an eagle if you're surrounded by turkeys. Mm-hmm. That's true. Repeat that again uh, about the the people around you. Say that again. Yes, it, it has been said that you are as successful as the five closest people that surround you. Mm. You know, I I saw in real estate that you know there were a lot of agents that. They would really not approach the top agents, and so they were. They stayed at a, a certain level that wasn't very high. What I did when I first started in real estate, I, I looked at the, I, I found the top agents in, in my company, and I approached them. I introduced myself. I'm a new agent, mm-hmm. and I, I tried to see what I could learn from them, and then I tried to hang around with them because I saw that, you know, I wanted to be like them, and if I if I learned whatever I could. From them, I knew that one day I would be a top agent myself, mm-hmm. and that's what happened. Right, right. That's very smart advice. Now, how can people gain access to these type of people, like if they um, really aren't around them? How can they gain access? Well, you know, sometimes there's people that, that you uh, you can get in contact with, you know, if, if, if you're in a company that has successful people. Or other times, you can just um, have a mentor that, um, that somebody that you admire it could be, like in my case, when I, you know, I've always admired authors, and so I would read their books, try to learn, you know, what, what they, you know, what they write about, and, and learn what they, what they did to become successful, and then kind of emulate them. So, uh, you don't always have to know people. You could just ha- have mentors and heroes that, that you, the people that you admire, and then learn from them. Mm-hmm. That was one of my questions. Is it important to have a mentor? And do most millionaires have mentors? Yes. Um, it, it is very important to have um, mentors and heroes, people that you want to want to be like, uh, because then you can you can follow in their footsteps. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's very important to have that. And, you know, a lot of people that are successful, uh, they they had um, people that they admired, and then they they just did everything to be like them. And then if you do that, one day you you will become like them. Mm-hmm. Someone once told me that if I had a mentor who doesn't have a mentor, get away from that person because mentors um, should have mentors. So, definitely. Mm-hmm. You know, if you if you look at successful people and you and you look at people that are not, you know, the ones that are successful, they they really strive to be like the people they admire, and that, and that's what really helps you a lot. Now we've all heard the saying: you have to spend money to make money. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it, it's partly true. You have, you know, it, it, it does 
take some money, but not a lot of money. A lot of businesses have been started with $1,000 or less. And, um, you know, there's a lot of examples I write in my book about that. So you don't need to have a lot of money to, to, to get started. You just have to, because nowadays with the Internet and everything, there's, there's a lot of ways you can start a business in your home without having to spend a lot of money and having, a, you know, overhead and, and rent and all that. So mm-hmm. uh, it's really a lot of opportunities today more than before to, uh, to start your own business without having to have a lot of money. Yeah, because I was going to say in today's economy, you don't find, um, well, don't you find that people are hesitant to spend money to start a business? But, I mean, it's going to take some money, but maybe not a lot of money, correct? Yes, exactly. Um, like I said, you know, there's a lot of businesses that have been started with, with a, uh, very little money, and uh, it's just a matter of, of what you do with it. Uh, but, you know, you can, you know, if you, you can go ahead and, and try to buy into a franchise or something, but that's going to cost you a lot of money. But if you start your own business, you can do it with very little money and, and just have very low expense in your home. And once you get going, then, then you can go ahead and expand a little bigger. But that's, that's the best way to start part-time and then, and then go from there. Does being in the right place at the right time play a role in success or not? You know, some people have said uh, that they, they were in the right place at the right time. And, and that's, that's a factor. Uh, but it's really the opportunities that they, 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 they were able to see the opportunity and, and then go with it. And then they took massive action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, um, boy, time is really winding down. I saw on your website that you're going to be conducting seminars, web classes, and workshops in the future. Um, briefly tell us about those. We have some time. Sure. I plan on giving seminars, web classes, and workshops based on the 15 Thinkers of the Millionaires. Once people read my book, they will be helped by more intensive training and motivation. That's, that's what I intend to do. And in my website, the, the 15thinkers.com, I, have, I, I, I talk about when I'm going to be uh, launching this, and so they can go there and, and they can find out more about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show today, Ron. You've truly motivated me to continue towards my goals and work through my challenges. God bless you, and I wish you continued success with your book. It was great. Thanks for having me. Okay, we'll talk again. All right. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.